Hey, 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 it's Julie with the Julie Show and the Denture Adventure. If y'all don't know me, I'm G.I. Jules. Some of you open up going, wait a minute, I've been following her for seven months. Why does this say, before you get dentures, please open up and read? Hi, right, guys. When you're on your phone doing videos, and you start to have to wipe everything up, you know that you're spitting, right? I mean, I spit all over my phone. I have to wipe it all the time. So, I was reading something, sorry. Um, I'm pacing. I did a video already. But unfortunately, I swore and I said a couple things I don't really want to be in there. Alright, so where am I going to start? I went to the dentist yesterday. Okay, I had to go to the dentist because out of town, if you haven't been following me, I had a situation in my sister's last week and it really bothered me. I could have probably waited a little bit longer to do this, but I need to do it while it's still fresh because I'm forgetting stuff as the days go by. Okay, so... After I went to the, well, when I went to the dentist yesterday, because I am already at the seven month mark next week and I was going to have my impressions done and everything on the 13th, they went ahead and decided to just go ahead and do it yesterday. I think I've run up a little bit too much into my bill. You know what I'm saying? I was not the best patient. You're just going to have to go back and watch my whole denture adventure to find out where you're at in your stage or if you don't want to do this or you do want to do this. You may want to watch some of these videos. So the reason I put the title that I'm putting on this video is you can go back to the beginning is because I'm seven months out. I have immediate dentures. I may come in next month and do another denture adventure and be completely different. I don't know because I'm getting a whole new set of teeth. But you know, you have to be one strong mf -er. I'm sorry to put it that way to do this, okay? Not everybody can do this. Mm -mm. Go willingly and have the teeth ripped out, if you know what I'm talking about, and have some fake gooey ass block prosthetic there's some people that don't have a choice like me i didn't really have a choice i could have just let all my teeth keep breaking and rotting but i had to pick and choose what was better for my health i had a really bad infection now that i have dentures i'm losing a ton of weight what was going to kill me worse the infection the weight loss now it's time to pick and choose and weigh you know your pros and cons so they're going to do my dentures i'm going back in to have my true fit meeting on tuesday at 11 30. I swear to you all, you've been following me. If I don't like the way they feel, I'm taking them out and I'm gonna tell them right then and there. Nope, not this. It's not gonna be concreted in my mouth. Cause I think that's what they do. I think what happens with the permanent dentures is you just go in, they do your impression directly from these teeth. This is why I'm so nervous. I had a feeling that's what they did. I'm doing things while I'm in this video, so please just stay with me here. Uh, I'm actually weighing myself right now so I can share with y'all what I weigh because this is not a joke. This is a serious medical condition. Uh, when you're 300 pounds and you need fake teeth, you're in for a, a you're in for a nice thing because you're going to get what you need—a procedure that's going to not only fix your teeth, it's going to help you with your weight loss journey. I'm exactly 87 pounds. I have been between 86 and 87 pounds for some time now. I am considering short CR. Sorry about that, guys. I was going to say, excuse me. I'm considerably short. I'm 4'11". Um, shrinking, probably. at 44 years old. But still, you know, 86 pounds. That's because I can't no, 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 on anything. I, I did have my husband buy me a watermelon. You know why? We'll get you some watermelon. If you like melon, you're going to be able to eat some of that. That's good stuff for my teeth. Right here, my watermelon. See this wonderful watermelon? I just put it in a cup and just slurp. You don't have to have teeth in because your gums, because these watermelon is so soft. So anyways, they're just going to do permanence. Um, what else happened? She did ask me about any issues I had. She showed me they had a keychain um, full of dentures, and one of them was a set. And now that I have these in, and I did that other video, I can't show you exactly what these look like, but the unevenness, you need to look at the unevenness right now, and know that your permanent dentures will not look anything like that. She even shook her head like, oh my gosh. The things that I'm worried about won't even be an issue, she said. They are digitally mastered. Did that make me feel any better? Absolutely not digital. All right, ready? My, my mouth without my teeth was really crooked this morning, too. You guys, I think I had a damn stroke. My husband says I'm nuts, but I really think that this side, and I'm drooping. I'm sorry. I had a stroke back in February, but no, no, that's not what they wrote down. But they didn't write down everything anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? They never do. See that big lip? Curl it. You see how it looks up, like, higher and lower? That ain't gonna, it's not gonna look like that. See how, oh, you can see my goo. Yeah, you will, it'll leak out. 
what I usually do is I pull out there and I just kind of put some water in there. Not a big deal, guys. It doesn't taste that bad. It's pink. It's not a big deal. Um, that's not my biggest problem anyways. It might be your biggest problem, but you'll find ways to deal with this. In my last video without my teeth, not only did I say you have to be a strong person to do this, but you might want to mentally get a check because I was pronounced mental. Um, not really sure what the hospital said I had, but my doctors had been diagnosing me and pronouncing me bipolar 1 for as long as I can remember. I've been on and off medication for that since I was 21 years old. Um, they didn't prevent me from going to work, didn't prevent me from getting married, it didn't prevent me from buying and selling a house, getting divorced, uh, didn't prevent me from having kids. You guys, you make your own life, okay? I did smoke cigarettes for 27 years, and this is what a girl once said to me. Well, that's why I need vape. Look at your mouth. Let me tell you, if you vape and you do this, you, I don't know. If you get teeth and you, well, if you don't have your teeth yet and you're vaping and you're on the verge of maybe needing dentures, quit vaping. It's speeding the process of drying out everything natural in your life, not just your mouth, your life. My hair is just now starting to get better. You want to know something, though? I don't feel bad. My one sister out in uh, Wisconsin, she does hair for a living. And her actual, she's a year younger than me, a year and a half exactly. And her hairline is similar to mine. So I'm not even going to sit here and be like, well, I'm so unhealthy and my hair's falling out. Because my other sister, she could use to give us all a third of her head. She had so much hair on her head. But she's been sweaty and she can't seem to quit sweating and that kind of stuff. So we all pick and choose our battles, guys. Now, I wouldn't mind getting up to my little BMI of 93 pounds, because 93 pounds put me as healthy. I want you guys to really think about this, too. If you're obsessive and compulsive, these are not right for you, okay? If you are just OC, which means you have it under control and you haven't had a disorder, or you've been fixing it or going to therapy, whatever it is that you do to make yourself not have a disorder, it may possibly trigger the disorder to come back, because these... These are hard. These are hard for the average Joe to get used to, let alone someone with OCD. Okay, because the only person that can really fix your obsession with these is the dentist, and you can't always get to the dentist. So, seriously, I'm sorry I play with my nose so much. It's my allergies. I just now got a refill on my allergy medicine right before I went out of town, so it's just not really starting to work again. And I noticed in a lot of my videos and pictures, my nose is like red, and I'm like, I'm not a drug addict. I promise, I would do a drug test right now. I just really have a lot going on and. Uh, I didn't sleep very well when I got home yesterday, and I kind of took it out on my husband, which he didn't deserve that, but I'm just, I don't, I, I've been telling a lot of people what I've been doing for therapy. I know this is a denture venture, and I veered off a little bit, but I did tell my brother that a good part of therapy is right here, um, and my humanity cards. I mean, my brother was like, that's genius. I didn't think that that's what he was going to say. I was doing that in the other video, too. You can do it with your teeth, and Fred Keith Law. So when you don't have your teeth in, shake it out. Shake it out. Make the noise. Do whatever you got to do, guys. I keep saying that this isn't for everyone. But at the same time, I know that if periodontal disease and gingivitis and whatever you're fighting is taking your mouth, you haven't had to make this decision yet, you might want to opt to have bridges put in, some crown work. Um, I already put into my mouth at least out of pocket $25,000 plus what I paid for insurance all of them years, at least. And on top of that, I had to go get an $11,500 procedure done. So, guys, to care your teeth, have your children take care of their teeth. Express to them that this is not an option. My son told somebody last weekend that he was just going to get fake teeth like me. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is not just like, there's no implants, okay? The one thing holding up my teeth and holding them in is suction. I mean, pushing them together. Like, gr like not grinding, but when your mouth is closed, you're going to probably tend to pull down on them. Because you want them to stay in. And the less air and the less saliva that gets into the fixedents or whatever adhesives you use, you're golden. You're going to keep them in. And that's the goal to eating. So that is my goal. I'm not uncomfortable anymore. Seven months, guys. I finally have to say, and if you are still uncomfortable, you need to get it looked at because your jaw aligns with your teeth and you could really be messing up into your skull. So I'm serious. Like, you cannot mess around. You have to make sure that your doctors, your dentists, and you are on the same page and you're getting it done and you're getting it done right, okay? Now, there are probably, like, for instance, my mother, when I talked to her, I told you guys in another video, she needed help, and I sent her the 
the semi-permanent ring line. I have not used it, guys. A lot of people ask me, how long does that last? Da, da, da. Now, I have talked to her. She's had her dentures for years, and she said that it's still holding. So, you do get a true fit. So, Tuesday, before I leave the dentist, I need a true fit because I can't walk out of there having you. Now, throughout the day, these will get looser and looser because the saliva will eventually get to the fixing it, and then they'll wear down, which is fine because I redo these in the afternoon for dinner. And I would advise no smoking, no vaping, and no sucking on straws because all that does right here, unless you do put it off to the side, maybe the straw, but you will lose suction. You'll lose, it'll immediately loosen it up. And I'm learning this as I go. I would have told you guys this, but no, I'm going to title this before you get dentures. Things you should know before you get dentures. These are immediate dentures. Again, I go in on the 7th. Tuesday, next week after Labor Day weekend, and I will get my permanence place for a true fit, and then whatever adjustments they have to make, I can go back and get them the next day if that's the case. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. I, don't, I didn't even hear that part. All I know is she took my teeth and told me to leave. I was like, yeah. I was like, come back next Tuesday, what? No, no, I had a fucking panic attack. Oh, please forgive my French. I went into this whole video without swearing, didn't I? Okay. Guys. Excuse me. I know I'm so real. <laughs> I'm in my office right now. Getting ready to go do some housework. I just want you guys to really, really, really watch some videos. Listen to people. I am just your average 44-year-old. Shouldn't have lost my teeth this young. Living in the Midwest. Chick, okay? Now, I don't know what kind of life you live in. I don't know what kind of money you have. But you got to do what's right for you. You got to do you. I do these videos as a whole. But individually, I cannot address every one of you. I am not a freaking therapist, and I'm not meant to be one, or I would be one, right? So, I want you all to go in peace. I want you to have a great day. Today is actually, I'll tell you guys, it is Thursday, the second day of September in the year 2021. Okay? Come in peace. Bye-bye!